for us as a tourist bureau and one of the principal agencies involved in the whole idea of promoting tourism, Faces program allowed that to happen. It allowed the showcasing of, of, of average and ordinary St. Lucians in a way that perhaps many of them had not had their story told before. The staff members are, are, are passionate about the industry. They, they, they feel very strongly about it. But like several other players in the industry, they have been toiling and working behind the scenes for years upon years without that sort of public acknowledgement. It was something else to see how their faces lit up when, when they were being featured on the program. From average workers at the board to even managers to now having their stories told. For them they felt it was an added plus, it was the icing on the cake. Welcome to FACES, St. Lucia's longest running tourism awareness program. Hello, my name is Candice Sergio. You may know me from the Holiday Guide on the Vista Channel. Growing up, I was always considered a chatterbox. And when I moved back to St. Lucia after studying in Florida, um, I figured, you know what, I, I wouldn't mind exploring that side of my personality. So I said to myself, you know what, why don't I use that talent of talking that I have? So I decided to um, audition for the Vista Channel and, um, and it helped. And a lot of people tell me all the time, are you always that perky? Do you always, you know, are you that talkative? And yes, I actually am. <laughs> and I do talk this much all the time. Um, and I enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. So I'm exploring all different sides of my personality and I'm having fun every day doing it. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. There's more of St. Lucia to explore. Some people make it look so easy, but these are the people who make our tourism industry successful. My name is Francis Canterbury. I am the General Manager of Caribbean Dispatch Services Limited. My name is Michelle Emilia. I'm a sales professional here at Columbian Emeralds International. I'm Kathy James. I'm presently employed at the Cold Pot Restaurant. My career basically is, is, is people's business. I'm a people's person and um, the hospitality um, is part of that. There are many opportunities in the tourism industry and then there are careers that take you in directions you never expected. But for some reason, it suits you perfectly. My name is Mildred Asia. I'm a sales associate and Harriet with Jewels. What motivated me to come into this industry is my personality because I love meeting new people and with being in the tourism industry, it's really about meeting new people, interacting with them. This is Robert Rene. The hospitality industry, you, you, you get to interface with so many different people. To connect with people, you know, different people on different trips, you meet different characters, different people. I do it because I love what I do. I'm Labadee. I'm currently the reservation supervisor here at Discovery at Marigot Bay. enjoy uh, dealing with people, giving information about the country. I've really developed the passion for what I do and I enjoy it to the max. My name is Simone Gemma Williams. I am a diamondologist. What motivated me to join the tourism industry was the fact that um, there was an interest in different cultures, the, the traditions of other people, uh, even languages and so on. And I thought it would be quite interesting to have some form of a forum to express myself, my talents, my skills and my ability, because I believe that uh, there are loads of hidden talent in myself and many young people out there as well. Tourism is everyone's business in St. Lucia. Come along with us as we discover the faces of St. Lucia's tourism. This is Dwight, Dwight Cauldron. I work at the Obel Seraphine. Um, it's something I have a, a passion to. It's, it's very good. Um, I all believe that um, we, we play a critical part in, in the um, industry. Every single per person in any hotel, regardless of whatever department. And just to encourage and have our return guests. Um, we all contribute to this industry. Hi, I'm Leah. From a little girl, that was my dream to work at a golf course, to meet new people. I like to socialize and just the fun of it. And I'm a waitress. In the hotel industry, it's fun. You get to laugh, you get to spend time with guests, you get to let them know like so many things about St. Lucia, our history. 
You know what? People are getting married. It's happy. I I leave work and I am happy. It's great. It's the. I mean, I love my job. My name is Brian Paul. I've been. I'm a bartender. I've been doing bartending for over 25 years. Bartending for me, it's, it's a feel. It's something that I love. It's something I feel happy doing. I feel at home. For me, when I'm in the bar, I'm on a stage. That's where I get my chance to perform for people to see the, the kind of things that I could do. And it's the best thing I know to do. The best thing in life. This is the best job for anybody that wants to really want to meet people and want to go out there and be ambassador for the for St. Lucia. St. Lucia's longest running tourism awareness program. We're going to discover a little bit about the people who are truly responsible for making your stay here with us, just as you imagine. Let's help put some faces to St. Lucia's tourism. programs like Tourism Faces is just so critical because I think too often over the years most people saw tourism or, or people within the tourism industry especially in management as expatriates coming from England and from other places and didn't see locals at the helm of the industry. I want to say that that has changed so much today. Programs like this I think are just so useful. People begin to see the people that makes it happen in the hotels in particular and there's a cadre of young people that are really going to come up and, and hopefully continue the same professionalism, um, the same dedication, everything that we have put into it and built it up so they can take over and, and, and then really take it to the next level. Um, there are some, some, some very, very, very good young people as well as some other people, restaurant managers, bar managers who have been in the industry for years. They never get any kind of recognition. So I think continue along those lines, continue with the program. I want to compliment um, the visitors channel so guys congratulations I'm so pleased that you are doing this program Joining us, this is Faces of St. Lucia's Tourism. Hello, Vaughan Francis. I'm the head of special events at St. Lucia Tourism. My name is Mervyn S. Joseph, one of the guest services supervisor here at the St. James Club Morgan Bay. We are the face of the resort. We are the ones responsible for all of our incoming and outgoing guests, making our guests extremely happy. What I do, I take the people on tour and I explain to them because here is an estate. What we grow here is uh, cocoa. So I explained to them about the cocoa, talked to them about the 18th century Caribbean village. I really love my job. I love meeting people. I love getting to know stuff. I love pleasing people. My job entails coordinating all the taxis and making sure we have adequate uh, services for the clients. Well, we drive them as far as Pigeon Point Island, Casseries for shopping. We normally we stop at, Ma at Marigo Bay. We stop at Ansco Show for snorkel. Anxiously, which is the Blackstone Beach. I am Peter Lewis. I am the Port Officer representing St. Lucia Air and Sea Port Authority at Rodney Bay Marina. Here we seek to ensure that our guests, meaning our visiting yachtsmen and crew, are comfortable, that they do the necessary procedures with customs immigration. Well, my occupation fits into the tourism industry by ensuring that the guests who visit our shows have a wonderful time. One responsible for preparing the menus and uh, making sure that every plate that leaves my restaurant is up to standard and the customer expectation. This is Lennox Dupal, um, originally from the town of Grosile, and uh, my occupation is um, hotel management. Taking me to places that I, I could have never dreamt of. Um, I have met some of the most beautiful people in, in the world. Um, it, it's, a, it's a people's industry. Welcome back to Faces of St. Lucia, right here on the Visitors Channel. My main job is to ensure that my guests are happy. Make people happy, 
I help them enjoy their vacation. And it's like when they come and get a massage, they feel like they're, it's the total experience that they get during the massage and I'm very satisfied doing just that. Being here is very exciting. You get to meet different pers persons from different backgrounds, from different countries and a lot of business persons as well. It's what I love doing, meeting people and making people happy. The operation, the general operation of the hotel. Being the, the tour guide because I love to share what I have learned with the tourists, with the visitors, I come across everything. You get to meet a lot of nice people that you can keep in touch with. Like 10 kids, since it was raining, we decided to stay in. We did a lot of arts and crafts with the kids, and they really had a good time. When I come here, I'm an all-rounder. I help in the restaurant. If there's a wedding, I decorate. If some, a guest needs something, then I go the extra mile. I'm an all-rounder. Always get the opportunity to meet people from all walks of life and showcase your island and once you join up you'll have the opportunity to also do a number of beautiful and great things. The hotel industry is a very nice thing. They are like you know the restaurant and bar where you meet new people, you meet new faces, you have to greet and you know greet and um, smile to the guests. As a sales and weddings manager, I liaise a lot with the travel industry. I do a lot of networking. So this is launching me internationally at this point in my life. As a career opportunity, this is going to give me tentacles to go into other areas of the industry. And I really have a love for what I do. What inspires me more or what I love more about my work is to counteract with strangers, you know, welcoming to our shores. And I'm happy working in the tourism industry. I love my job. I'm Celia Austin. I'm part of the hospitality and tourism industry. It's something that I love doing. I think the initiative that you guys at the Visitor Channel have taken in doing Faces of Tourism is an excellent one. You get to showcase the people who actually work in the industry, often behind the scenes, but actually make stuff happen here for our guests on the island generally and it gives them a little moment to celebrate, to be celebrated, to be showcased as having been a part of an awesome team producing an awesome product to the world's market. So kudos to the Visitor Channel for Faces of Tourism. The secret to St. Lucia's success, it's simple. It's in the warmth of the smiles of the faces you'll meet. My advice to young people joining the industry is to join the industry because if you have a passion for it, you'll enjoy it more than it's just been a job. Youths coming out and want to work in the hotel industry, I would say be determined. Aim high, know what you want and go for it. Don't hesitate. Look at me. I started in the kitchen, I went to weddings, I went to banquets and now I'm the group sales manager. So nothing is impossible. I would encourage people to be part of this industry not only because it is what St. Lucia strives on, you know this is our bread and butter, hospitality, but it, it makes you a better person, your personality, it encourages you to be more out there and you meet people from all walks of life, all over the world. You develop relationships with people that you would never even imagine. What, I would, what advice I would give any young person interested in um, looking for secure um, employment or a career, definitely the tourism industry is a really good place to start off. You not only meet a different criteria of people, but you get to experience a lot more, not only your island, but other people's cultures as well. So I would encourage any young person out there that the tourism industry is really a great place to start off a career. I encourage any young person right now who's looking into a career to go into the industry, the hospitality industry, because there is a lot. There is so much that you personally can offer to the industry. 
you know, it's a social network. You meet people, you travel, you learn you personally, professionally, like I said, there are, you know, um, training opportunities. There is growth within the industry. I would advise any young person to join the industry, whether it be bartending, whether it be waitressing, whether it be reception. I mean, you grow. Whether you could start as a bartender or housekeeper and grow to an assistant manager or a manager or a reservationist. There are so many areas in the industry that you can find a position in, no matter what you are interested in. I think it's an industry that allows you to grow, allows you to get out there and interact with different cultures, different personalities. It helps you in your everyday lifestyle as well. You're able to converse and deal with different people on a day-to-day -day basis. It has also given me opportunities to travel as well. I say to, 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 to persons joining this industry is that uh, you must be able to provide exceptional service. My advice to those people out there, especially the young people, just be strong, okay? If somebody will encourage you, you can encourage yourself. I want to tell you, just have a bit of patience and you will get there, okay? Do not try to aim for on top, the top of the ladder right away. Advice for the youth, the youth audience that's uh, graduating right now uh, to join the, the tourism industry will be, it's a, it's a lovely place to work. You meet a lot of people and uh, there's opportunities for everybody. You can just keep on growing and grow and you grow. Most times you may be at a, one establishment and somebody else may come and they love you and then you, you, go, you go places, you travel, you see the world. To encourage you young folks out there into the tourism industry is to be yourself. As long as you know yourself, you will find different people coming to you and you can relate to them. And this is what's going to make you an ambassador for your country. If you know yourself, you can relate to other people and you'll do very well in the hotel industry, whether it's front office or as a sales rep also as an international person. You need to prove yourself right for tourism. This is Faces of St. Lucia's Tourism. of you to be here this evening as well as the sponsors, nominees and invited guests. Faces has carved a niche I think as far as programming is concerned as far as the kind of impact it has had on St. Lucians and visitors as well. Faces undoubtedly they capture the essence that is St. Lucia in the faces of ordinary St. Lucians who make the industry successful. The Visitor Channel captures that essence in an extraordinary way. The program takes into account dedicated people who deliver the kind of tourism product that keeps St. Lucia growing as a popular tourism destination. That when we have an initiative to showcase who really is the face of tourism in St. Lucia, and it's not coming from an agency that has a vested interest in terms of the major promoter like the Tourist Board or the Ministry of Tourism or the government itself, but it's coming from a private sector agency that understands that in the context of what takes place in St. Lucia, that this industry has a greater level of significance or importance than has been attributed to it. And more than that, it really represents us as a people. And the faces are not just mine who happen to be on TV more often than I would like to. But are those, these are, those are the people who really make it happen. Um, the people who work at the hotels, <clears throat> the people who work at the supermarkets, the people in the insurance companies. What it did was to allow our public, and I say I use public in the broader sense, to see or get a better appreciation for what is actually tourism in St. Lucia. I think we have the unfortunate situation where um, very often I think the face that we have of tourism is from the visitor side. 
um, people see tourism <clears throat> um, just from the point of view of the visitors, people coming, lying on the beach, relaxing, you know, happy go easy, and not getting a full appreciation for how important an industry that is um, for St. Lucia in particular. We, we want to congratulate the Visitors Channel, and in particular Larry and Andre, uh, for the drive, the initiative, and the perseverance, because I know they have been at it for a very long time, and there have been many opportunities that presented uh, challenges that weaker people would have said, let's just give up on this and do something else that is less stressful. Uh, but they have persevered. And I think that is testimony to the fact that perseverance always, ultimately, ends in triumph. The St. Lucia Hotel and Tourism Association is very proud to be associated. Uh, we were asked to support this event. And I said to Larry and Andre, we would not support. We want to be a partner with you in this event. Because if the truth be told, this really should be something that the SLHDA itself should have initiated. initiated. Uh, but we congratulate you. Very, very honored to stand here tonight as the first face of tourism, Visit Channel's first face of tourism, and to re represent SLASPA as an air traffic controller. It was a very exciting opportunity for me. I was able to share myself and my job and my company with St. Lucia and the rest of the world. So right now I just want to congratulate everybody who participated, all the finalists, and I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Thank you. I got the news that I won the face of St. Lucia 2010. But because I was not present at the ceremony because I was out of the island and I was quite excited to be chosen out of, uh, out of 12 people here. To be honest, I, I never even dreamt of it because when the interview was done in the first place, I just took it well. It's just a face of St. Lucia that they're presenting on the television and I just thought that was the end of it. But um, when I got the letter saying that I was chosen as a nominee to take part in the face of St. Lucia 2010, Again, it said to me that there was more to, to it than just what I thought it was. So I was quite excited when that came around as well. Yeah, cool. that, um, I got the award. Here, this is the award and the certificate that was presented to me on my arrival back in St. Lucia. And the number of prizes, in fact, I was quite excited when I saw the various prizes that I, I won. As a taxi driver, we are ambassadors to St. Lucia or for St. Lucia. And I, take this thing serious enough and I hope that my colleagues as well, seeing that I have done it, that they too can do it. and the people that we have met, they're genuinely nice. It's not because they're working here that they're being nice to us. They, we, we talk to them after their shift, after they're working, and everybody, you know, just have a good time with the people. Yeah. The people are golden. They're super people. I've always said that um, the Visitor Channel, throughout its ex existence, truly understands what linkages in the tourism industry is all about. They are testimony if you have to just look at their programs and you can see that what they have been producing over the years. And the buzzword today in St. Lucia and within the region is linkages. They have understood it and they've been practicing it over a number of years. I'm truly heartened by the fact that um, others, um, including the SLHTA who I represent, the Tourist Board, as well as the Ministry of Tourism understands the work that, the, that um, the Vista Channel has been doing. Highlighted the people that are really making the industry work. You know, and I mean, I wanted to do it because I have something to say. We have interviewed hundreds of St. Lucians who are part of the tourism industry. 
We have exposed through the program so many people. is usually something that comes wrapped in what we call simplicity. The idea of this particular award is basically to take the stars who are outside there on a day-to-day -day basis, bring them together, show them their, should not only show St. Lucia their words, but also show the rest of the world what we as, as um, St. Lucians have to offer. St. Lucia Tourism was created by the Visitor Channel to highlight the importance of the industry to all St. Lucians and to demonstrate how the benefits are multiplied into the fabric of the economy and how the effects are manifest in numerous occupations. The Faces of St. Lucia Tourism program commenced broadcasting in December 2008. To date, the Visitor Channel has interviewed over 300 industry workers this highly successful program is aired on the Visitor Channel in excess of 15 times a day, making the participants household names. Additionally, the show has given an incredible boost to the awareness of the importance of the tourism industry to all St. Lucia. Let me begin by thanking the Visitor Channel, a distinguished member of the SLHT, for their in initiative and vision over the past year to move these awards from strength to strength. When we were approached to partner with and sponsor the event, there was no hesitation that celebrating the efforts of those employed in the industry was the way to go. There is no better way to secure the future of this vital industry than to invest in our human resources, primarily because of its direct impact on guest experience. The St. Lucia Hotel and Tourism Association congratulates each nominee on your outstanding achievements. We encourage each of you to stay committed to your personal development so that your name stays synonymous with excellence, innovation, honor, integrity, and outstanding quality and service. Continue to excel. Congratulations to each of you. Thank you. The board is pleased to add its own support to that of the efforts by Larry and Andre as they continue to showcase the outstanding work of ordinary St. Lucians that continue to push the envelope and to ensure that tourism develops on St. Lucia in putting forth a Herculean effort to highlight what really and truly is St. Lucia's tourism industry, one that is bar none. To all of you, I say congratulations and thank you. So we extend our generous thanks to all of our sponsors. Secondly, this project would also not be possible were it not for the dedication of our crew, our FACES crew. They go out, in the, in, they go out every week and gather the FACES that grace our broadcast. So to Kendrick and Chanel, thank you all very much. This is the first year we've done it like this and I think we're going to continue. This was fantastic. Congratulations to you all. It's something I was looking forward to. Uh, I had my friends from all over the world uh, voting, and um, it feels good, I'll tell you that. So um, it's something to add to what I do. And thanks to you guys and the Visitor Channel uh, for giving me the opportunity to be one of the faces of St. Lucia. So thank you guys very much. I, I'm really excited about it and you know it just makes me happy that you know so many persons have voted for me I must say thank you to everyone that took time out to vote it's it's been amazing it's an amazing night um, and I think it just makes you aware of all what's happening around you know in our country St. Lucia.